So as y'all know, I upgraded my Wi-Fi recently. I got the new Google Nest Wi-Fi router and it comes with this ethernet cable. And whenever I did my setup video, I got a comment from somebody that said, is the new ethernet cable a higher capacity one to use instead of the older one, which I have my older one right here because um, I figured that it would do the job just fine. I didn't realize that there was a difference between ethernet cables until I read this comment, which we're gonna get into in this video. And we're gonna test out this ethernet cable that came with the Google Nest compared to my older one and see if that makes a difference in speeds. First of all, hi, I had all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that we like, use, and have, and hopefully make our internet work. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. So this comment that Matthew left was very detailed and I was like, I just, I have to do a video explaining this a little bit better. Although he did a good job here, but I wanted to show it. So he said, a cat five years old standard and you only have, to, uh, can only handle a hundred megs. Cat 5E can handle theoretically up to a gigabit depending on the run length. And the Cat 6 can handle up to like 10 gigs. I believe on short distances and then you've got, a, got things like Cat 6A stands for augmented, then Cat 7, then Cat 8. All you need is the basic Cat 5E, but Cat 6 has more shield, Cat 6 has more shielding. It stands for higher grades of shielding, Cat 6, has a twisted pair and also has an aluminum kind of shielding inside around the wires and a trunking system in the middle to split up the pairs of wires which eliminates crosstalk. For home use, you won't need anything more than a Cat 6 as the higher grades are used for servers and higher, highly electromagnetic areas, which homes are not unless you have a lot of electronics nearby that give off a lot of EMF and never run into an ethernet cable parallel, and never run an ethernet cable parallel to a power socket or wire. So that was super in depth, did not know that. And so now I'm curious to know if there's a speed difference between this particular ethernet cable that came with the Nest and the one that I already have like I showed y'all uh, installed on my thing. So what I figured we would do is we go to speedtest.net and run a speed test using this wire. So we have LUS fiber so we do have fast internet here. Let's go ahead and hit click go. It's gonna go through all the things and whatnot. It's gonna tell you let you know how fast your internet is and that is looking pretty solid right there with an 86 download speed and then once it gets through the end of the download speed it's going to check our upload speed so we'll get to compare both upload and download now i'm supposed to get equal upload to download speed so that upload speed should be reading closer to like a 86 or whatever 87 but uh, it's not, so maybe this cable might actually change that. So that gives us what we've been working with for the past few months now. What I'm gonna do is just switch out this cable and see if that makes any type of difference. Like I said, I did not know that there was a difference in these, these uh, uh, ethernet cables. So this is gonna be a very interesting test. Let me get behind here. We're gonna unplug the old one right there from the wall, plug in this one right here and then we're going to go into this is my google nest wi-fi right here back on the bottom here we're going to unplug that we're going to plug it back in right on down there boom all right so hopefully we still have internet because i did just unconnect that i don't know if this dot means that it's thinking or what so let's before we even run the test let's just see if we can open up how about lanevids.com? That's my website. Oh, if you go to lanevids.com slash contest, I run a con contest every, uh, every uh, month on the channel. Okay, so that worked. Now let's just redo this right here. Boom shakalaka. Go back to speedtest.net and let's see if that made a difference for it. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that this ethernet cable is going to make a difference? I wanted to share with you guys too what these ethernet cables were like the the uh, uh, numbers and whatnot that are on them because I noticed it 
and I was trying to find where to figure out if it was like cat E5, E6 or whatever, and I couldn't, didn't know how to read it. I thought maybe some of you guys might know what some of this means. It's, uh, oh, uh, we gotta get to focus first. Hang on, let's focus right there. Okay, there we go. We got AWM21104 E321011 80, looks like degrees Celsius. 30 V, I'm assuming that's 30 volts, and W, uh, M, uh, I can't talk, V, W, dash, one is what that ethernet cable says. This, this ethernet cable, this older one, says, let's see, it's kind of twisted around here. Uh, Belkin is a Belkin cable corporation. Um... Okay, here we go. Here we go. This is the good stuff. This is what I think. What the heck? It's all twisted. Ah. Uh, okay, there's R R seven J three zero four UTP. Uh, I don't know what that's. P R something P R two four A W G type C M U L E one zero no e one six four four six nine dash f three e t l verify okay now verified too it's probably the belkin stuff again so that's what this looks like here on this one okay let's see if that ethernet cable is going to make a difference go what we got what we got hook me up okay 75 80 83 84 85 86 87 okay so we're getting this it looks like about the same download speeds because the previous one was 87. what i'm really curious about is those upload speeds is that going to be any faster a 49 i mean not not like a bajillion times faster it's at like a couple of points faster but that could be a number of you know small different things depending on what your computer's doing, who else is on the network. So I really didn't see a difference between the two. So I'm assuming that the cable that they give you is a pretty doggone good cable, since nowadays uh, a lot of people are getting these faster types of internet, that gigabit type of internet. I honestly don't know how old this particular cord is, but I will say that I've had LUS fiber for a good, like, 10 years now, maybe even longer, because we were one of the first cities to actually have fiber in the in the United States. So, um, you know, I, I, I think that they've kind of given me some good cables throughout the years, through all the services that I've used and whatnot. But if you guys want to see how I installed the Google uh, Nest Wi-Fi router, uh, set up through the app and everything, I'm gonna put that right there on the screen. You guys go click that video. I'll see y'all in that video. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated if you guys want to smash that and dad out.